Hey, what's up, everyone? Marcos Viegas, me and joined with Keith Thurman. This is Fight Up TV, powered by Stage Run VIP, here in Los Angeles. You just finished your press conference. Keith is back. I've always told you, boxing's in a good place when you're back because you bring you bring energy, you Come bring on. charisma to it. Your thoughts? You 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 got Tim kind of angry, and then you face off with him. Yeah, it's beautiful, man. This is what it's all about, man. You know, uh, of course. You know, I got to respect what he's been doing. I got to respect the fact that he's undefeated. I got to respect his record, 24-0, 17 knockouts. This is no chump. There's no pushover. I'm in a division I've never been in before, you know. But at the end of the day, I'm not worried, you know. Uh, I've just been doing this for too long. Um, you know, he's very basic. He's very fundamental, you know. If it's good enough, I'm going to learn. I'm going to find out soon. I just don't think it's good enough, you know, and I'm going to express that before the fight happens. You know, I'm going to I'm going to hold my opinion. I'm going to be firm on my opinion. Um, I understand why the bookies and different people, they don't know what to think about Thurman. They don't trust fighters that have been inactive. Zoo, three fights last year, three fights last year, one one fight in four years that, you know, so paper statistics like Roley was bringing up you know but it's not I'm not fighting statistics in the ring I'm fighting a human being human beings make mistakes it's my job to capitalize on his mistakes it's his job to capitalize on my mistakes like I said when we first announced this fight it's me versus you who's gonna beat who Thurman versus Tim Zoo, March 30th Amazon Prime pay-per-view Let's go. <laughs> yeah, like you mentioned, it's your first fight, and, and well, you had one fight in, in f four years. It was, it was two and a half year layoff from Manny Pacquiao to Mario Barrios, and this February 5th is another two year layoff. So it's just. Yeah, it's what happened? What, what happened, Keith? Like, I mean, we. What? You tell me what happened. You heard the mandate Thurman versus Spence. Yeah, yeah. You heard the mandate. You heard it. I heard it. They heard it. It was heard. And then it was forgotten. And he found a way to wiggle his way out and sign the contract that he wanted. I've always said you can't make fighters fight. I've said that. Ben Getty told me a long time ago, you know when you really got to fight, boy? I said, when, coach? When you're standing in the ring and the other motherfucker standing across from you. <laughs> That's when you know. And there was that one fight. That wasn't even true, too, remember? Which one was that? He touched gloves, the guy, the bell went ding, and he walked right out. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that fight. Yeah, that was like in Minneapolis. Remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, we've seen fighters pull out the week of a fight. Yeah. We've seen fighters uh, pull out around weigh-ins, okay? So, it's, it's boxing is just not really like any other sport. You love it, you hate it. There's politics, there's politics. It's everything. Don't hate the player. Don't hate the game. If you got love for the sport, then, you know, sometimes you just have to endure. And like I said, nobody's endured what Keith Thurman's endured in this sport, you know. And for better or for worse, but as the old saying go, good things come to those that wait. Amazon Prime, March 30th, is my new date. Now, looking at your move up to 154, uh, I spoke to you about it a little bit earlier, but is this a permanent move or you want to see how you feel with Tim and then you'll decide if you stay? Let's see, we got to test the waters here and now. You know, we could move up at any time of our career, but I feel strong. Um, I feel fresh. You know, the one thing about not fighting is I'm not beat up, right? <laughs> if you, you look at my resume and if Thurman would have been fighting, 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 we don't know. You say you don't know who Keith Thurman is today at 35 and inactivity, but we also don't know who Keith Thurman would be today with activity. Could it be too much activity? You know? So I've, I've saved myself many blows to the head. I'm ready for the second leg of my career. I want a full career. I want to retire at 40 like Floyd, like Pacquiao, like, like the greats. If, if, if I feel like somewhere from 38, 39, 40, I'm, I'm going to be cautious. I'm going to assess my body, you know, moving up into a division. We're testing the waters here and now. Does Keith Thurman belong here? Big question. 
all the answers will be coming on March 30th. Because one would think like you still did have some opponents at 147 pounds. I know uh, the names of uh, Boots Ennis. Uh, Devin mentioned out of left field that he'd want to fight with you at welterweight. I, I saw you did an interview uh, earlier that you you had some some opinions of, of Devin and what you felt about him. But what would you make of those two opponents potentially at 47? Yeah, you know, uh, you know, I want to really just see the contract. Don't you don't even have to you don't have to ask Keith Thurman if he's gonna fight. You just need to send Keith Thurman a contract to fight. You know, I've never took contracts and pushed them away. You know, so that's something that people don't understand. They think they need to talk to you and do this and do that. Send it. Send it. Show me the money. As they used to say, right? Show me the money. You know, look, it's it's just boxing. It's nothing new. I'm not. Keith Thurman has has won titles. Keith Thurman has had his legacy. Keith Thurman has been an undefeated fighter. I'm not undefeated. What is there to lose? You're not gonna do. You're you're, you're not taking nothing from me. And at the end of the day, even though I lost to Manny Pacquiao, it still is one of the most exciting fights of the year. Even though I lost to Manny Pacquiao, I get compliments from his team on the performance. I get compliments from a lot of people, Manny Pacquiao fans. I now have, shout out Philippines, I now have so many Filipino fans because they saw what Adrian Broner did with, um, uh, with Pacquiao prior to our fight. And it just wasn't exciting. So they learned that Keith Thurman is just a truly exciting fighter. Like you said, boxing is good when I'm in action. And we're in action at the start of the year, turning over a new network and hopefully a new gear. And I will solidify myself in this new division. This new division had an undisputed champion in Jermel Charlo that the belts scattered. Uh, Tim has one of the belts. Unfortunately, this is not a, uh, a title fight, but if you win, people will see you as one of the top guys at 54. Yeah. Are you having your eyes out at anybody else at 154, uh, namely a, a fight with Charlo in the future? Or, or Terrence, because Terrence has been rumored to, to move up well, and I know it's been documented with conversations we've had on interviews that, that you've wanted that fight as well. Look, you already know, those are good names. You know, it's Thurman versus the world. It's Thurman versus everybody, you know? So that's what it's about. It's just about bringing action. We want to get past Tim Zhu, and we want to see what doors open up. We got to take this sport one fight at a time. Boxing is not like any other sports. There's not a roster, you know. You, people like to plan. People like to ask and poke and this and that and try to get information. But the one thing that I know is that I'm stepping up. I have a moment in time. This Saturday will be eight weeks out. This is a brief moment in time to solidify myself in this new division, be considered to be at the top, and from there, see what's next. It's the world. It's the world. I, I'm, I'm ready to showcase my world outside of the Walter Waite division, and it starts right here, right now, Amazon Prime, pay-per-view, March 30th, T-Mobile Arena, Thurman versus Tim Thu. Keith, as always, man, great uh, catching up with you, great seeing you, great Appreciate talking with you. Man. Appreciate it, Keith Thurman, Marcos Villegas here in Los Angeles. My, March 30th, this man right here going against Tim Zhu in Las Vegas. Thank you so much for watching this video, and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV, and give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.